Better show you guys a video real quick on how to spray single stage urethane basically um, is perfectly level as you can spray it um, and it sprays super flat you can get this stuff to look so smooth um, the biggest problem that I've had doing it is fish eyes and it's because of um, more because of the reducers um, and some of the material so I kind of go over a little bit of that stuff so I mean I can spray this stuff like super smooth but um, like I said, the reducers are, are usually the issue that I have. If using the right reducer is a key thing. Um, the best, the thing, the, the most important thing is one thing. Do not use acetone as a reducer for any of your single stage urethanes. Um, they do, they, most of them contain acetone in them, but pure acetone um, can cause reaction with uh, with undercoats and like so let's say you have some body work that you did or something or some feather edging around old paint or something like that and it's even if it's primed over it could react even with that and cause mapping where that mapping is the edge around it showing up where the repair was done so anyway I'll go over my favorite product for doing single stage urethane that I've sprayed so far is actually this stuff right here. It's, uh, what is this stuff? I think it was Axis is what it is. I don't know, but uh, I covered over the label. I don't know what this one is. Lusting Coatings, Nesting Technologies. I think it's Axis. Yeah, Axis, right here. A-X-I-S. Okay, that one seemed to have the least amount of problems with fish eyes to me. Um, these ones I had a little bit more problems with fish eyes. Um, so, but I'm going to tell you the technique to get this stuff to spray really smooth. One of the key things is don't over-reduce your material. If you overreduce your material, that's where you're going to get some issues with fish eyes. Um, the best reducer I used was by PCL. It's not the acetone one. It's their, they call it zero VOC, but it's not the acetone one. Okay. Look around, find it. I don't have any more cans of it. Um, but that one really, it was about 50 bucks a gallon. And man, that stuff <clears throat> really was a good reducer and it was really fast so generally what I'll do is is remember spraying is about putting thousands of dots onto something the finer the spray the less the orange peel um, the finer the spray the less need for a really heavy coat so having the material thin enough to do the job is the most important thing read the label thin it as much as you can um, it always will help to get it to to spray more fine so what I do is I put on a medium uh, medium slightly drier coat than I do clear coat on the first coat uh, but I'll go to a, a nice medium coat uh, medium wet coat on the first coat um, which is a medium coat is all your dots are connecting together, just barely connecting together, and you're going across the panel. They're just barely connecting together. That's all you want them to do is connect. That's it. So that your spray, you know, if they're not connecting together, um, then you're too dry and you will have orange peel in the material. So, so your first coat is like that. Your second coat is a full wet coat, which is they're connecting together and just a bit past that is where your second coat is and your third coat is going to be the same now the key thing that I do with this material to get it to really level down smooth is the first coat I'll put on my material a little bit thicker because if I found that when you put it on too thin the first coat that's when you have more problems with fish eyes I put on my first coat with a little bit thicker um, amount of uh, 
a little bit less thinner in it. It used to do it the opposite. You know, <laughs> all this stuff's different now because the reducers are different now than they used to be back in the old days. So this is a little bit tricky part. So getting that perfect viscosity is kind of a feel. You're going to have to just, you know, work that stir stick, stir it up, and then get that where you get it just right where you want it. I think it's it's in the neighborhood of 25% somewhere. Okay. Um, and then what you do is, so your first coat, I use a fast reducer. Second coat, what I'll do is I'll throw a couple of splashes, bloop, bloop, you know, of slow reducer in with the same, same mix <clears throat> that I did the first one. This third coat, I'll put a couple more glugs of the <clears throat> slow reducer in with the mix so as you go it gives it a little bit more time to flow out and come out really even now um this one here i, I got this so level it was just like beautiful perfect I almost don't need to buff it um the only reason i buffed it because there was dust in it um these ones here uh, actually this one here is a little bit tougher um, to get no orange peel in it's a little bit I don't know if it's not thicker but it just it feels thicker this one here is their actual automotive this is a industrial finish this is the actual automotive from Valspar and this one here um, it's got a thicker viscosity but for some reason it actually breaks up finer so um, keep that in mind when you're mixing it, um, that it still will break up if you have a good spray gun, um, pretty fine. So you want to want to do a test panel and, uh, try it out first before you go paint a whole car or something, you know? So if you happen to, if you're painting, this is a solid color, you're not putting metallic in, if you put metallic in, I wouldn't even use a single stage urethane. I would go right to a, uh, base coat clear coat. Okay, so if you're going to do single stage urethane, this comes out really nice. It'll come out just as shiny as if you use clear. Just as shiny, yes, it will be just as shiny as clear coat. And you can't really, you could put one right next to the other and you would not know. There's almost no one who could even tell the difference. Now, if you're, if you're, if you're want, if you do the job and it doesn't turn out really nice, um, it's not too expensive a project product and you get done and you're going, wow, you know, it's like turn out kind of crappy, you know, I, I'm not real happy with, you know, I didn't, I wasn't able to get it. I got too many dry spots in it or it was just came out too orange peely because you waited too long between coats. Again, the same rules apply. First coat, you know, if you, if you put this, put the first coat on, you go and do your, you test your you know, around your window, around the closest part to where the wettest paint you can get is. And if you touch it and it smears, you gotta wait a little longer. It's sticky and this makes a little string. Perfect. Recoat it. If it goes to the point where you're putting your finger on it and you just see a fingerprint, you waited way too long, you're gonna have difficulty. Um you're gonna have orange peel for sure. Okay, same thing applies most most paints so if you so if you get done and to your man doesn't look very good okay it's real easy then you do something that guys call today is called flow coating um, and basically all you're doing is just sanding it down and painting it again you know a couple more light coats and you know a couple more even not heavy heavy coats but kind of a medium white coats um and it will just level down just super smooth you'll see in that second time you go to paint it it just goes down like glass so um that's with almost any paint so you know they, they always told me back years ago um when you're painting if uh you screw up what's the worst thing that can happen you just sand it down and paint it again big deal so that applies with this stuff too so you know no worries i mean hey what's the worst thing that can happen stand down shoot it again 
Usually when I do that, I do usually use, um, with this material, you can use 600 grit, no problem. 400 even, you can even sand it, cut it with 400, and go back over that with 600, finish out with 600, and uh, you'll have a, it, it won't sand any scratch with this material, unless you just shoot it way too thin, you know, or something like that. You're doing something really wrong if, if it comes out with sanding scratches with 600 grit. So I've done it before, and man, it turns out really nice that second time. In fact, if you're trying to get a really nice finish, just shoot two coats, maybe three coats on, let it dry, come back the next day, color sand the whole, whole thing down, shoot it again, two more coats, color sand it, buff it, it'll look just like beautiful, like like uh, like you put clear on it, you won't even be able to tell the difference. Well, a couple tricks there. Anyway. Uh, I'll talk to you in the next video, and that's pretty much it for single stage urethane. Um, basically, the how to uh, technical how to on how to do it. Um, and if you want to watch guys do it, um, there's not very many guys doing single stage urethane painting in a booth. Um, look for it online. There's a few guys that do it, um, and uh, you're not going to re really get helped with much technique by those guys, um, the ones that I've watched. Um, basically, it's the same as using clear coat, but the, the you know the spray method all the stuff still applies that I put in my clear coat videos as far as you know spraying directly at them stuff you're here not whipping your gun not spraying with your wrist you know you're spraying with your hand straight at the you know spraying straight at the the surface like my hand would be the spray right you see how my wrist is moving it's the opposite of you know most people spray is like, like this you know, that I'm exaggerating it a little bit. That's not the way you do it. It's like this. You're spraying straight at it. All that stuff still applies with every material. Okay. So anyway, I'll talk to you on the next video. And maybe sometimes just a little tiny bit of a, you know, as you get to the end, just do, you'll see guys and then, then go back and do a little bit faster, right? At the very end to get that, get just a little bit, but it's not much. It's not this giant... You know, guys are doing this, you know, no, it's doing like this. You see that, that hand when it, you watch the gun man, he's a perfect example of spray, how you're supposed to do it. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video.